and he can keep walking up and it's gonna be hard for Navi to kill them later. If they can shut him down early and they keep snowballing with the Io and the Ursa, this game can the one that's the one way that Navi, you know, stand. 12 minute finish Nage where it's effective before Navi have any items or ability to counter it. So sharing HP like this does seem a, a little bit slow. Need to start getting himself some kills. And onto the IO they go. Zayat's nearly falling hit does go down. There you go. Well, I'm no longer worried for VP. They got this. <laughs> Sizes. Uh oh, that's a good glimpse. The very good FN as well with the legend Vortex. Yes, onto the solo. He's going to try and get on top of him right now. At least in Beam's going to slow down Magical a little bit, but not really enough. So they found in the trees and also killed off Navi 2 these days. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh oh, no one TP'd into Snaker in the river. He's going to try and glimpse back a Meepo, but that is only a singular Meepo sent back. The other one will go to town and send that disruptor to. Oh, okay. Then, uh, zip in the middle lane. Roger, nice loose and beam. Gonna kind of a little bit more time, but they're just closing the gap. The electric vortex comes down, but jumps up as well. Borrow strike does seal Roger's fate. Ramses comes into this one though, but he's gonna be sent back immediately. Flying off to the side of the map. Does manage to get the heavenly grace out onto FM before he goes down. The old snaker gets taken down by no one in the back lines. They're looking forward here, VP. Still tempted to fight. Both teams skirting around each other here and eventually decide that no, no more violence shall be done this day. We got Lizzie. Uh, he's gonna get out of bounds. Uh oh, Luna bought down again, taking advantage of the squishy low mobility support hero in the Luna. Ends up being like level 4. The shelter, but now it's like you can always Ursa being taken down pretty quickly here. Zayat trying to heal him up as best he can, but it's not enough. No one will get the kill onto the teddy bear. They're looking for more now, aren't they? Closing in that gap. Net come off cooldown in one second, and he's got it available. Will not. What? He caught him. He caught him. There's a lie. Oh well, they still be able to bring down Zayat all the same. Another net thrown out and doesn't catch Magical out. Alright, so apparently roots don't interrupt the IO's tether. Stuns do, but roots don't. Okay. Now we know. Oh, he thought he got away, but uh, actually this might be a big ultimate. They've got the epicenter charging it up onto no one. No one needs to get himself away. Heavenly Grace and uh, the Hand of God helping out as well, keeping no one alive. Um, while Chris Lives is trying to chase down Solo, we'll find that kill. The poof away gets the kill and gets no one. No, never mind. He's not out of danger. Zayas was hunting him. Zayas found him. Ramsey's still trying to fight up, FN coming into this one as well, God Strength being used, Crystallize being chased down, he's stunned up, and the TP out. Zayat's made. Really yeah, Navi are aware of this though, and they're right back into the trees, making sure that VP aren't going to find anything here. Chen's caught, uh, Lizzie's actually caught out here, the damage is coming out on Tim as Roger cuts up that ulti, but Chen's already fought down, the glitch back onto Roger as well, it's going to finish him off as well. Meanwhile, Sven coming in, ulted up by Sven himself. Uh, so that's a spent. Yeah, they need to leave. Chunker glimpses under attack. Done so. Oh, FN, he's in trouble here in the tree. Bought down magical Zayats and Blizzy. Surround FN and bring him down. You get a Meepo? Top there it is. is under Smoke comes out. Snaker's gonna pop it. He's on the front lines. FN Jinx is actually behind him, but that's absolutely fine. Uh oh, the uh, the IO TPing into this one. He doesn't want to be here right now. Zayat with an awful teleport here. He's gonna get bought down. Blizzy already dead, dead and buried. Magical. He's just gonna zip himself away. He wants nothing to do with that. Target. But some help. He's gonna go for the TP out. Snaker's got the glimpse though. Gonna use it perfectly. And now Chris Lies is joining the fight as well. But Ramsey's gonna perch off that. Thunder, turn around with the Storm Tails. I don't want to fight without God's strength though. Oh, Chen. Oh, Chen. He's getting left behind. Solo gets murdered by the bloody claws of Ursa. Everybody else getting themselves out. Will cry out, but they've caught another one. Luna under the tower here. She's got an eclipse, but I don't really think she wants to use it right now. Stun will be all she uses. And Zayat actually cheekily grabs that kill on the Io. And uh, Navi get. Or a strike forward onto the spin in the middle lane. They're going on him once again. Who's going to be the sacrifice this time? He does turn around with a nice stun. Uh, nets are thrown as well. They are able to get spin behind them. God. Hand of God available. Yeah, they're really trying to 
fade this one out maybe a little bit, but nice ulti now on to Ramsey. Ramsey, they need to keep him alive somehow, but he's not going to be able to do so because the Sven is stunned up. The Chen is stunned up, but didn't be able to get the hang and hand of God out in time. Meanwhile, Blizzy is taken down. The Ethereal Blade comes out, popping that little Scorpion boy right open. And from Ramsey, they're going to go for the Russian? Yeah, they're going to go for the Russian. Thank yep, you, you said it. 30 seconds. No disruptor ulti, no stunning storm. No, <laughs> Roshan, he's just melting. Well, they've pulled another one inside of the pit as well. Zayat's edging a little bit too close for comfort there. Just wanted to scout with some orbs and unfortunately does fall himself. Roshan's gonna fall. That's gonna be an Aegis in the hands of Lizzie's well positioned well in the trees, but he's being pinged out. Or is he? He's going for the epicenter. He's going in on to no one here. The bro strike comes through. Don't forget this is the Aegis target as well. And they've had to drop two ulties in it already. It's magical. Trying to fly by, but it's just taking Sneko down the back line. No one doesn't even die. The hand of God saving the Meepo is absolutely fine. And oh, Io brought back into that mess. <laughs> it's just going. No one, he's running down the middle lane. Where's the Luna? Where are you, Luna? Get in here. She's coming over. Look at it. Oh, they're going to fortify, but you're just delaying the inevitable. All right, so they're challenging in with the Storm Spirit here, trying to find some kind of initiation. But the tower, it's just gone. The tower is gone already. There's a fire strike through onto the back lines here. They've got this Aegis. They've got up for another 30 seconds. So there's a God Strike they thought being used. They take down the Sand King. Now they get to work. Meepo inside the static, but they're just going through the back door. What? Was there a back door protection there? I think I saw one. Did you see one? Uh, I don't know. It, it just... I think it was just a. Uh, it died Jesus. So fast. It didn't even matter. Oh, a glimpse back. They have a singular Meepo, but it's not the main Meepo, so even if it does die, it won't respawn the same place. But everyone's just coming straight back in then. They feel like you want to go. Let's go. Blinking in deep and taking down Zayat. The IO gets a very short existence. Now, hey, look, there's a the bottom tower. Aegis does now run out, but this damage is. Absolutely, the Meepo's not even attacking it right now. It's just Sven and, and the main Meepo. Once again, the Storm trying to bolt his way through, but the barracks are just simply disappearing. Ursa trying to turn around here. He's got the rage if he can get a chance to use it. Does use it with his dying breath. Snake also running down, but gets killed off by the Luna. And now they're onto the tier 4. Virtus Pro have found their momentum, and there is absolutely nothing that can stop them. No brick wall, no team, not even Na'Vi. Lizzie trying to go for an epicenter here. Going in deep. They might be able to take down one or two. Not like a bad, but Two man's done. I think mean, the, the ancient falls. Who cares? Meepo just bought down every single building in the base. What? It's also going to give Nick Sass an instant start on him as well. So I feel like there's a lot of counterpoints as to why you wouldn't want it this game. I just want to see what FN's decision making is around it. Yeah, I think uh, even if he gets Radiance or Armlet, whatever, maybe he can even get both, right? No matter what, he bottom, Spaneko out of position. Dude. Yeah, he's getting bet down really fast here. He's gonna get taken away by the disruptors, right clicks, and that thunder strike coming down on his head. And so he can just make his way around the trees. Absolute morphling again in the middle lane, but the Fisher Tests come out onto Magical. He's got to back himself up, but still trying to play aggressively here. And actually, Roger has to go for the TP out. He is gonna be able to make it out of this. No, he's not! Magical finds the headshot and gets the kill onto Roger. I throw it over to net worth actually. Mm, we do see a sniper ahead of the morphling, thanks for those uh, lovely three kills he's gotten so far. They're pinging out Ramsey's here. Now, Magical if he wants to go for this, gonna need a little bit more than just a shrapnel. Meanwhile, down to the bottom lane, we lose Suneko. But we'll look towards Ramsey's here as the shrapnel comes down. Zayat's making his way in as well. Oh, easy stun with the spiked carapace, and they will be able to take down this Doom. Magical takes it. Scoop it up an easy one, but down the bottom lane, they're still going, Chris Live, he's in trouble, he's seen out by the kinetic field, he's completely stuck inside of it, and that allows FN just run in for the easy right clicks. Yep, so season, just uh, burning down the clock a little bit, glimpsing back into Ramsey's, throwing down the doom, a long prediction Steven, but very accurate at that, as no one's on top of him now as well, a few right clicks and an adaptive strike, I'm busy taking care of, Zyax is on the run as well, he hasn't got a spike carapus for another 10 seconds, meanwhile the bottom lane, Roger will fall to Crystal. Nice Fisher block bottom, but they don't have room available, they're just gonna get some angle first, Crystal Ice might be able to get up, they got no one mid. Oh, yeah. No one mid, Seneko goes down though. Kislaz on the run as well. VP closing the gaps. Uh, looks like Kislaz will get out of this one. Yeah, kill a bottom now. Magical actually turning it around onto Roger here. Roger is going to have to go with the Fisher, find himself some space in the trees. Do they have another shrapnel? They certainly do. Roger, it's not quite on his head here, but Magical is getting in the close. He's going to use the assassinate to make sure they've got the vision on him as well. And Magical finds the kill. This yes, sniped. Solo coming in. He might want to. 
up the bottom. Rams it. Oh, oh, he's getting run down once again here. Three heroes surrounding him. The off lane doom in a whole world of hurt. He's trying to get himself away, but he is going to be sent back to hell where he came from. Ramsey's going to, to brawl here. Snaker though with a nice sentry is going to find two. So you got to look up there. Oh, doom straight down onto Zayat here. The uh, Ignis Spartans comes out, but it's only catches solo. So uh, they're going to be able to find this kill from the Assassin. Actually, Snaker is going to be falling down as well. Both of them just popped. Tried to de ward and they're looking for magical now as well. He uses the shrapnel, needs to stay out of sight. Ramses is closing the gap. He's gonna try and get them the vision. Does indeed. They glimpse him back, and magical is dead. No way out of this one, little sniper. It's gonna take a while. Oh, she gets to the egg field, but no one will chase him down. Waveform in. Adapted strike, and he doesn't really have a target to go on until he the uh, Earthshaker has his blink dagger, and he actually he gets it. He's, he's, he's in a lot of roll. trouble right now, actually, if he doesn't oh, do that. Oh, he gets it off his time. The stun is lined up perfectly, and there's a meme coming down from the sky from Zayat. They're looking for more as well. They're even going to throw down the Ignis. Solo, you ain't getting this out of this one, my friend. Look towards the light and shut your eyes and wait for death. See it, they've got these sentries down, which they've just placed of their own. Big fight. He's actually... Right here. Oh, that's interesting. That was actually, um, Na'Vi's wards. They're gonna use the rage to check the HP of the Lord Tempter. Oh no, Solo way too far forwards, caught out of position, and taken advantage of by Na'Vi. I think he was actually trying to get a glimpse so they can put someone out of position, but that was actually just a scouting mission from FN. Now, they're gonna fight forward to fly. Yeah, they're coming into it, but on the back lines, a stun gonna hold still the Doom. The uh, Doom Gamma comes down, but he gets on the BKB beforehand. Wants to use the Doom, gets it off onto the Sniper. Sniper trying to run away, but the big Doom is just chasing him down. Sentinel Storm comes down, and Magical's taken out of his fight. Meanwhile, no one also goes down to Zayat and Blizzy. They'll look towards the Doom now as well. Stun him up, take him down. They don't need their Sniper. They can do this all on their own. Navi, as for take down two of the VP heroes. And now let's get back into this pit. Roger hey, no one thought Crystallized messed up. That's the coma boy, I like that. Someone who's like, hey man, he's Thunder Creep, so. Middle though. Ooh, they're going down, the Echo Slam down, and they're gonna find Zayas. That's a big <laughs> commitment onto that kill. 707 damage. So cool. But yeah, now it's a 4v5 situation, and uh, if you really want to keep on pushing the advantage they have, there's no more Aegis available. Navi, they're ready to fight. Blink down onto the low ground from Ramsey. He's going to keep him okay for the time being. They have used their Lincolns on Ramsey's, which means all oh, the Illuminate. Uh, Will of Wisp was not so hot. And uh, now they actually got the glimpse back. He's going to be able to surround by two people here. Chris Lyle, he's going to get brought down. He's going to have his first life taken away from him. Meanwhile, the fish are just holding back everybody else. Chris Lyle, he's going to try and get the stun out onto Lifesteal for the time being. And a nice blink away. Chris Lyle, though, he's straight into the kinetic field. And he does get the crit to bring down Solo, but now could be in a bit of trouble himself. But no one just fighting up into Chris Lyle now, using that rage. He's in the more strength. He's not winning this fight. FM gets out of him, and he will be able to finally finish him off. And I look towards Blizzy as well. Blizzy getting low, getting low. The blast comes in. Can they finish him off the dark seer? He's so close. He's not gonna get out of this one. The surge comes off cooldown, but it's a little keeping him alive for the time being. Holds his nerve, doesn't pop that BKB. He's also been given the cheese by Crystallize. Meanwhile, Crystallize is ignoring everything going on around him. Goes right now. He looks towards the target, getting onto the Doom here. He's getting stunned up. The BKB comes out from the Doom. Crystallize, though, he's getting eaten up a little bit here. He might lose his first life pretty quickly. Does drop. Now, up onto the high ground. BKB pop from no one as he just gets to work onto Crystallize here. Crystallize trying to fight up. They're just gonna bring down the Ignis instantly, and no one doesn't even care. Yeah, they're so they need to bring down Roger though. It's down goes Solo as well. So the VP supports are the only ones who have died so far in this engagement. And that's a dieback from Roger as well. He came back into the fight and then immediately found his way to the grave again. Middle Rack's finally finished off by Na'Vi. They're uh, getting to work. Ping's come out on the bottom lane, which is almost fallen as well. Virtus Pro, they're losing this game right now. Huge. The great team have to have it up again. They have five heroes up. There's dieback. That's really bad. No one needs to go and make some plays right now. Gets bashed up by Chris Lyle straight away before he can make anything happen. They're trying to block sides. We'll be able to do so. That's a gem on the deck. It's Chris Lyle's turn around trying to fight up into FM. The dual life stealers. Very tricky to war right now. As uh, they get a free vacuum off. No one. No one's being held still. He does manage to get out of wave form. Turning into that life stealer form. Is that Manalik coming in as well? Sorry. Chakra magic. Okay, Manalik Mark II. Assassinate's being used, and again, whilst the Morphling is healing, they're just getting to work, and they take another set of buildings. Only one more lane of racks remain for Virtus Pro. They do get a tasty glimpse, though. That's very good. Ooh. 
BKB, easy peasy. And then she gets solo for that. No one's still trying to rip into Chris Lies right now, but Chris Lies is just too tanky. FM's dropping low as well, but he'll be able to feel himself off up. The Great King is magical up onto the high ground. Now Ramses is just running into everybody, but no one's up behind him as well. They're going to blow up the sniper. No, they don't. He gets off the cheese just about in time. And Ramses is going to be the one to fall. No one in a bit of trouble right now in this slice of the form, but does turn back into the more fling. He's get down onto the low ground. He's still trying to fight up here, but he has to wait for back to inside of the map. But Zayat catches him with a huge impale, holding him still. There, everybody getting on top of him right now. He's got that buyback one more time. Doom has buyback as well. Doesn't have Doom available. It's going to be a real rough defense as Roger realizes he needs to get himself away. He's used his blink dagger. That's going to be on cooldown for another 12 seconds. No one circling as Chris glides. This is the final lane of Barracks. They run in, trying to blow up Zyatz as quickly as possible. They will be able to do so in the two ends of Rage. Take down the Ignis Bartus. Roger in deep. Chris Lies trying to chase him. And now Chris Lies finds himself in a really bad position. I think his team is kind of bailing him right now. Na'Vi have to get out. Chris Lies gets left behind. It's going to be two deaths for him if Ramsey's looking for more. They can up to the high ground. We've been here before. The Infernal Blade comes down. Seneca. Meanwhile, Chris Lies will die for a second time. Ramsey's chasing down the Coddle. And Coddle, he can't get out of this one. He's uh, actually going to keep survive. Awesome. Makes him survive a surprising long time. We're also going to search him up as well, so. Well, see you later. Oh, never mind. Sent on top. On to two. Soneko, he's, he's making them work for it. And there's the Guardian's Greaves as well. Soneko's going to survive through this whole damn thing, but the cavalry are cut. Yeah, but they're going to the smoke now. They want the initiation instead. They want to be yeah, the who they go inside. They jump. It's inside the Earth Shaker. More fling up onto the high ground. Just waiting for me in. They're going to throw down the Echo straight away onto the breaking here. They just want to try and bring him down as quickly as possible. Crystallized staying alive. Thanks to the Ignis, though. He's going to be able to sneak away on the side of the fight. Meanwhile, the Doom actually coming down onto the Nexus has to take him completely out of the fight. They run forward. The blast comes in. Nix has going to be brought down. And Crystallized being chased down as well. VP going to find two straight off the bat. Meanwhile, Lizzie trying to get off some damage along with Magical, just keeping his distance as far as he possibly can right now. Refresher Shard is used. Ramsey, he's got a second Doom and he's ready to use it if you can find a target and they go trying to run away but no one is on top of him open wounds no one's on top of him he's gonna find the kill so Neko blasted away taken off the map by Virtus Pro and that's gonna be a huge so Ats is watching just watching Tizzle may come through does get the stun out he's gonna throw it out look at the pings coming out immediately from no one help me help me but they don't jump on him and uh, actually no one's jumping forward here but they come up to the high ground doesn't get a save and now the Willow is coming down lower it down they got Crystallize a little bit zoned out here as no one can just get to work Crystallize barely survives any time at all Rage means no one gets stunned up by a death tower because they force up onto the high ground but that's a big echo slam coming out from Roger gonna hold them still in lambs to get that kill onto Crystallize now they look to take down the Darks here as well and he will certainly be finished off Roger doing a fair amount of damage there as the uh, the push comes in but a nice blink away from Zayats once again keeping himself out of danger and then he sees him in Roshan and he's like no I need to go but it's dropping so quickly Roshan's gonna fall they take up everything absolutely everything they'll take everything up and um, while well, Zayats trying to get himself away and go for more blink trying to blow them up but a big echo slam coming in from Roger they might be able to get a dark seer down but Roger's already dead in this fight as the BKBs go in Magical trying to fight up in the back lines here the damage is coming out it's so heavy onto the doom that Magical is just absolutely going to down. He's got a rapier and he is not afraid to use it. So they're trying to get himself away now but Zayats has just given them all the vision they need. That's all he's doing right now. He's just a scout. And they're going to lose Solo as well. Well, I mean, they lose up to... Yeah. Morphin goes in and there's Lysia the formula on the real Lysia that comes in from behind. Zayats trying to chase down somebody here. Can't really find a real target to get himself on right now. Big buyback. Low. Get outside the base. They're going to be able to see all of Navi's heroes. Yeah, it, it, it's, it just kind of gives them a couple of glimpses through the trees, but it's definitely not going to be found out too easily. Magical getting to work on these base, though. But let's check he's, he's not in a great position to come in on this one, so it's just bogged down, though. Magical with the damage. Meanwhile, no one. He's got a pistol in the front line here, but did manage to get that strength more off. He's staying on the high ground. Meanwhile, they got a stun through. Zayas with the, ex with the hammer coming down. The solid damage. Look at them. They're just melting. No one just flat up died. Randy's trying to close the gap. Does get the deal onto the sniper, but he doesn't care. He's just doing all the damage he likes. And then going to get dropped as well. And the GG well played is called. Navi take to the high ground, and they bring down Virtus Pro. One hero at a time. The damage from magic is just too damn much. And the wall, I think like the wall loot was doing a hell of a lot of damage there as well. This be easier. Alrighty then, let's get into it. Game number three between Na'Vi and Virtus Pro comes down to the line. One more game to find out who's going to be making it through to the finals tomorrow and who's just going to be in the crowd watching. It's everything. Things about Oh, middle magical! That's actually the one who's gonna get first blooded!
No one finds it. Damn. We're getting revenge on game number two when uh, the first kill was on to no one in the middle lane. He's actually just going to suicide himself right now. I really like this play. He still gives a kill. Now they know exactly their timings. Now, oh, Zayas was behind the tower, but he's not anymore. There's the avalanche coming in. They've got the toss as well. They've got the electric vortex. Everything being thrown down onto Magical. They don't chain their spells fantastically. Magical's going to survive his way a little bit through this. Maybe look for a turn, but it's not really happening. Magical's going to fall. The gank is successful. It's a huge kill. I did Storm's timing. Right now, Navi feels so much pressure and being choked out. He doesn't have the six. He's so close, but he's not gonna get it. He's gonna go down. Now the storm jumping forward for more. So Nako taking a whole chunk of damage. No one turning heroes into paper mache. Looking towards magical as well. Now Solo's on top of him, just following. He's got the shackles whenever he wants to use it. But Zayas actually comes in with the bow strike. Solo will be dropping, but the doom comes down onto the sniper. He's gonna die inside the base. No chance of survival there. Roger will just throw in a creep to make sure that happens. Roger trying to get the deny to the. Well, that's not gonna happen, Roger. That's a little bit ambitious gets finished off maybe it's uh, the hadouken they would have been able to bring him down but he's, he's, he's chill he's still on the run fn's here meeting up with him uh, the two of them might now be in some trouble as Ramses has kind of led FN into a bad situation. Look at the pings coming out, they know exactly where he's going. Stun comes through, FN coming in from behind, just trying to heal him up a little bit, but FN needs to get himself out of here. Leave Ramses behind, he's screaming down on my lead me FN! I'll take one for the team, dragging them off in the other direction, what a hero Ramses is! Let's get some S in the chat for my boy as he finally takes a full here, the crit comes down, the executioner's axe sentences him. Ooh, dice scan Roshan, the... I just probably might think that... No, they've actually moved past now, so they know they're wrapping him from behind. This could be bad for Na'Vi. They have been spotted. They're moving the wrong way, though. Hyper getting go, but there's three. Jesus, they got to go down. The Reaper sided and dropped on him as well. Magical is just it's disintegrated. Darkseer trying to get himself away from this one. He is doomed up, so can't do a thing. Zayat, he's just going to get completely annihilated. They're going in hard, and they're just going to take down everybody. The Thurders Pro, 17 minutes in from fighting in the middle of the map, but they're going on Chris Life now, trying to take it down for a second time. And they will be successful. It's a great vacuum wall, but Blizzy, are you going to do this all by yourself? I absolutely do not think so. Na'Vi, just get there. Salad top. Lizzie's a little bit in a weird position right now. He's, he's gone to the high ground. My god, what was that? <laughs> See, uh, he's just gonna get glimpsed. Uh, oh, but the BKB comes out from Ramsey. So he's absolutely fine. And in comes the orbital strike cannon. No one flying into the fight. Takes down two. So there you go. That was the way it wanted to be. Tossed into the action. Bubble guns, which fires pretty fast. And yeah, uh, FN might be in some trouble here. They got the Barrow Strike in, along with the Raid Fire Blast as well, even committing the epicenter this one, but cancelled out, actually. Uh, make feel. And the static Storm even being thrown here, but they're not just gonna get them down. Finally, Roger will fall, and they get FN as well. FN just warning into everybody right now. He's just walking straight into them. There's so many heroes positioned. Yeah, Zayat's up on the high ground. Blizzy's over to the side now, trying to get in, but he's actually stunned up by Roger. No one's got him like a flash as well. Just closing the gap, and as the Reaper side comes down, take down Zayat. Blizzy's trying to get himself away as well, but there's no escape from this right now. Toes in the vacuum, but he is going to die. So they're already looking for more as they chase in deep. The Doom came out onto the sniper in. That's one thing I was certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That word was everything for that deep now they're in a position to be able to enter the high ground. Really yeah, ruining they... Navi's uh, plan of uh, making a nice jump on the Yeah, they just got completely shown up. That was probably just one step ahead of them. And another thing I would like to point out, oh, hold on, Chris Lines going in for the initiation onto the Stormtrooper. They've got an ultimate down on top of him as well. They might be able to bring him down time, but they've got the buff zone. The heal coming in. It's not enough, though. No one is dropped, and now they can look for more. Navi on the aggressive right now. The wall comes out. Ramsey's taking too much damage here. It looks like he's about to melt. Ramsey's, well, the assassinate should make sure of his fate. Meanwhile, Blizzy going for the... <laughs> look at the body blocks. Look at the body blocks. That's just plain cute. FN, he's stuck. He's still trying to fight up. They'll take a life of... Uh, uh, Crystallized, but he doesn't really care. That's gonna be one dead Necrophos added to the shopping list of now. Yeah. Physical damage. I mean, there always have been, but now it's it's just getting to the stage where you start to wonder where where's this timer gonna run out. It's actually looking like it's gonna be kind of soon. Navi, they are looking to just keep on taking fights. If they take fights outside of their base, but the ward up onto the high ground, gonna immediately draw them out. They're going straight onto the sniper. Look at the two go down straight away. They 
Sonic to be able to annihilate Magical straight up. It's a great Sonic field, but only for that BKB, so who's not doing anything? Soneko is gone. Blizzy trying to TP out and actually makes it somehow. Meanwhile, Chris Lyle is left alone to fight up. Might get the kill on for Solo, but he is certainly going to lose his life, and probably twice at that. He's got a blink dagger. He can maybe make a cute play here. Ooh. Blinking away, but no one's on top of him. He's got the mana to chase him down. Ramsey's joining the party as well. They'll take him from either side. Crystallize, it's going to be a slow one. No one's keeping his distance as well, but FN is going to be tossed in as the finishing blow onto Crystallize. Virtus Pro take a thorough victory here, and they no problems. Oh, just zip down to the bottom lane, goes for the big one, interrupts the TP on Magical, but they're immediately jumping on Storm, but Storm's got that BKB, Magical pops his own as well, but he's just getting right clicked down. Storm might actually be able to do this all by himself, the whole team coming in around him, but they're just keeping him alive, the Greaves and the Infis as well. Oh, no one here in a bad position right now, my friend, but he's still flipping forward, he is not done, Zola actually comes in from behind! What are you doing there? They get the kill onto the sniper, but he immediately buys back on that one, no one's finished off one, Solo in the trees as well, trying to hide, but Chris flies, he's on top of him, denies the creep to make his way through to him, and now they're all sides up as well, beautiful. Bar strike to follow up as well. Storm's thrown in a terrible situation. Might be able to get out now that that static storm is over, but FN is in deeper though. Does get the side down onto Zayat. So after the immediate buyback, come on to the front lines here. Bar strike through. They toss back another hero. Chris Lyle's dropping low for the first time. That is going to be his reincarnation pop, but FN is just being tick, 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 boom by the sniper. They take him down. Ramsey's going for the TP out, but they have another ray fire blast to throw at him, and the Doom's going to fall as well. Navi with a huge high ground defense. Virtus Pro, they get greedy. Not killing the world. Once he gets Aghanims, it's gonna... Oh, they're gonna control what? Uh, solo, solo, going on to Sniper all by himself. No one's gonna come and join him as well. That's what they needed. <laughs> it's, uh... That's a dieback on, on Magical. VP might just be able to take the game right now. 105 seconds. What? VP, this man, you doubted, game could be over. Uh, solo showing yeah. you what's up. <laughs> so, yeah, Solo's made me look like a schoolboy, which... To be fair, he should. Meanwhile, it was Soneko. Oh, oh Storm. <laughs> and Glimpse back as well. Oh, he pops a BKB to go for it. All right, all right. Your shenanigans are over, but he does hold the creep way back for a little bit. Anybody else going to try that? Blizzy, maybe? No? Holding, holding still? All right. Navi, you got your work cut out for you right now. What have you got? You've got a BKB. Wraith King with two lives. You've got Zayat with the ultimate. Oh, that's a deep dive, and Solo doesn't get the BKB off inside. Maddie still got a little cooldown. He's going to get another head straight off the bat. Let's fly back into this side. Reaper's side comes down, takes down Soneko. There's a Doom as well onto the Dark Seer. He's going to have to wait until that comes off before he comes back into this fight. Yeah, they're just focusing up. Rething for VP to uh, No, that's unfair. They, uh, they know how to win games, and they are certainly going to carry on going for these barracks. They used to, they actually baited out the wall. They're taking this effect kind of slow, right? Timber has been dead for a while, but they able to get one. Yeah, 30 seconds left. They're spamming out the open AI lines. Must be feeling a little bit like Terminators right now. Navi holding on. I think they believe that they can hold this final Rax here. 20 seconds until the sniper's up. Oh, it's a big ask though. If Navi can do this, then uh, I'll be very impressed. That is pro. The BKB just going straight in onto the dive here, trying to blow up quickly. Oh, this is a really nice epicenter ripping through too. No one's got the BKB, so it's not affecting him. And Blizzy's taken out, but he's got the buyback. Meanwhile, they're going to toss back the raking into everybody else, trying to control him up. Zayas does go down. The Storm's just having a free one right now. We're still turning into a chicken now, focusing back onto these barracks right now. He is flying through them, ripping through them. One more left. The snakes are out as well. Solo, he's blocked himself in though. He's, he's blocked him. <laughs> Chris Lyle's on top of him. But uh, Ramsey's will take him out. The sniper is back into this game. He's up on the high ground. Well, actually, Roger's in their base. Uh, okay, I don't know what he's doing there. Me one pack is uh, crystallized, tries to run himself away. He doesn't have another life, though. He's going to be falling. Magical gets a kill to Roger, but all his teammates are dead. Darks here will be the final one to go down for Nafi, and now turns the sniper as well. But the GG's already called. Virtus Pro will take this series, winning the game over Navi on the back of a no one storm, and it was beautiful. What a game. Virtus Pro, I mean, the rotations, the ganks, uh, solo and Roger just being in the absolute right times and the right situations.